All right, this is likely, I hope, to be the um, final part. <laughs> what a kickoff! Final part of Commander Kylie Three. As we uh, raid Vorta Ninja HQ. And stock up on ammo. Oh, go away. Or get yourself shot. I'll take that too. The turret can shoot the Vorta Ninjas. Come back over this way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, go, go, go. No. Run, 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 run. No! Is the barbed wire deadly? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm okay for ammo. I may not be saying that after this level with all these bad guys who take four shots to kill, but I'm okay for now. The Vorta Ninja bathroom. Even ninjas need to pee. I'm gonna have slaughtered the entire Vorta Ninja core in a minute. You'll notice the barbed wire doesn't hurt them. Again, this level totally doesn't need to be done. I'm just punishing myself here for the sake of showing off more of the game. I'm screwed. What am I meant to do there? Ah, uh, right. Gotcha. Could probably have also used... <laughs> I was going to say, I could probably use this to go back and get that ammo, but no, forget that. Oops. can't do this if they're in the way. I've got to hit that before I hit them. Oh, come on! I can't, yeah, I've got to, like, they've got to not be over the ank when I, um, make the jump to get it. Oh, and then I've actually got to successfully make the jump, which is a whole other issue. No! I feel like I should be able to do this. I did burn through an awful lot of ammo in that room. What if there's an ank over this side somewhere that I'm missing? Doesn't look like it. The yellow key's over there, but I don't really need the yellow key get behind the yellow door anyway. Oy! Forget that. Again, I feel like I should be able to do this level. But soon I am going to start burning through um, lives.
I'll give it one more go. Yeah, no, there is nothing interesting up there. The ammo is valuable, but uh, that is it. As long as I don't get myself trapped in there again. You have to hit both control and alt at the same time to shoot, which is uh, not difficult as such, but um, not the most uh, convenient for rapid fire. Well, again, we've seen what that level has to offer, so I didn't finish it. Go up. This is the uh, impossible um, Caves of Oblivion, and uh, it's a massive maze. But, it's totally unnecessary. And in fact impossible, as the name suggests. Uh, you cannot complete the impossible Caves of Oblivion if you go through them. What you have to do is go up, climb over the impossible caves of oblivion and find the alternative exit. Pogo jumping into the top of the screen is uh, annoying. Yeah, nah, stuff it. We're nearly at the end of the game anyway. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Which just leaves us with the last level and the secret level, and totally that's all that's not finished. If you're imagining that there were some levels uh, she, yes, um, the, the it is on a pogo stick. Um, made me want a pogo stick when I was a kid. Uh, of course, pogo sticks do not work like that in real life, as I was very disappointed to find out. Uh, right, so this is likely to be the point at which the game crawls to a halt. It's the final boss. No, it can't be. Mortimer McMire! We now pause for exposition. Mortimer has been a thorn in your side for as long as you can remember. Your IQ test score was 314, Mortimer's was 315. He always held that over you, never letting you forget for one day. 314 is a reference to Pi, of course. Tom Hall just likes that kind of joke. All the practical jokes, the mental cruelty, the swirlies, each memory makes your teeth grit harder. And now he's out to destroy Earth. You have had enough. <laughs> yeah, I think it's in technically impossible, but the joys of video game characters. All right, Mortimer, what's the problem? Why destroy Earth? You and all those mental wimps deserve to die. I'm the smartest person in the galaxy, aren't I, Mr. 314? Ms. 314, in this case, as this is a gender flip mod. I'll get you for that, Mortimer. Come and try. You'll never get past my hideous mangling machine. Prepare to die, Commander Clown. Someone just ran into my door. Okay. And that's that's the kind. Have <laughs> All right, we'll try that again without the cutscene now. Okay, so yeah, this is this is going to be tough. Okay, there we go. Right, 
it's a time to jump down. Okay, now we've got to uh, take this next bit out. Got it, okay. So that's the left hand side done. Now we've got to get under it. Which I didn't. The Ravelers Girl. Um, it's not, uh, in the uh, original version, they're both boys. Um, Billy Blaze and Mortimer McMire. In this uh, version I'm playing, uh, Billy is flipped to Becky and is Commander Kylie instead of Commander Keen. Um, although I still refer to her as Commander Keen. I always thought of it, um, according to the person who made the mod, it's meant to be uh, sort of... Jesus. Uh, it's it's meant to be um, she's time traveling to ensure her big brother's or little brother's adventures went as like it's a yeah basically she's meant to be a time traveler ensuring that Keen won all these conflicts uh, that happened in the original games but I always prefer to think of these mods as just a gender flip like so this is Commander Keen but just instead of being a boy she's a girl. But yeah, Mortimer wasn't changed. Mortimer's still a um, boy. Got it, okay. Apparently that gave me enough points for an extra life. I didn't even realise they gave you points on their own. Nope. Run, 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 run. Nope. This is a... Uh, You've just got no room to move. Everything is shooting at you constantly. Okay. Hop up here. Alright. You can stand on the shoulders, but you can't really touch the rest of the machine. I'm being called. Got it. Okay. I should have waited under the, um, under the cr crusher. The child does want in, yes. It's my nephew. Oh! Stand on this block, I should be safe. And, ah!
All right. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, try this again. Just assured my nephew that yes, I can hear him, but I'm just a little busy right now. I just didn't want him to think I was ignoring him. Or not here. Alright, so... Oh! Mm. You really need to run. But you've got to stop in time as well. was my own stupid fault. Oh, my nephew finds my room to be a great big novelty. Um, so he likes to come in and listen to music and stuff but yes sometimes it does make it tricky when I you know want to do a stream or want to listen to music on my own or read something you know very insistent okay wait so crush and run and no I always found this, like, it's like the only boss in the entire series, and, um, it is just such a odd boss in a way. Yeah, it's all just timing. Okay, so... Oh! No, I had it! I had it! I had it! It's a hollow victory. I'm going to be hearing in my sleep tonight. I was watching Captain Clever's speed run of this, and he can, like, do it in six shots. He has the timing just so down. Da ha ha. Okay. Well, that's half the battle. Got it! Thank you. Thank you. With Mortimer McMire out of the picture and his brainwave belts no longer controlling them, the Vorticons are freed of their mental enslavement. Commander Kylie, in honour of your meritorious service in freeing us from the Grand Intellect's mental chains. This is one of my favourite lines in the whole series. I and the other Vorticons you haven't hospitalised. Oh, she changed it. We want to award you a Medal of Honour. The Big V, their highest honour. Thank you. In the original, it was the other Vorticons that you didn't brutally slaughter. Vorticons. 
the end for now. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Few glitches there. Anyway. That is a high score I will put my name to, if it would fit. Not even as high as the uh, other ones where I failed. Oh well. So that is Commander Kylie. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we will return at some point soon with episode uh, 3.5, Kylie Dreams, in which we um, explore uh, the land of Tuberia and throw flower pellets at vegetables. And no, I'm not making that up. It's the weird episode.